they thought that the on-field decision Mm-mm. was a goal. Yeah. And that's why they did a very quick check and they said, hey, check complete. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then after that, then they realized, oh, fuck. Mistake. The on-field decision was offside. It's not a goal. Yeah. So which makes me think, were you con- concentrating on the game? What were you doing inside the VR? Were you drinking your water? Were you using your phone? Yeah. What exactly was going on? <laughs> Four, four, two, dudes. Time check complete. Uh, yeah, four, four, two. We are the four, four, two. Four, four, two, dudes. dudes. My name is Ben, and he I'm is John. And we are the four, four, two dudes behind the show. Don't forget. Thank you for watching this because coming right up, it's gonna be what I'll say. Uh, 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 a lot of things going on. A lot of emotions will be poured as well, uh, and especially from the guy just beside me. But stay tuned because that's what we call ninety minutes off. Yeah, I, I checked it. Yeah, yeah. Well done, boys. Check complete. Well done. Okay, well done everybody. Good process, good everything. And this is 90 minutes of... As you can tell, we are about to start on a fiery note. Um, John, before we go to you, we know you have a lot of things to say. We know what happened very recently and it's the offside matter. I think we've been talking about this very recently. It's not just offside, but beyond that. And we've been talking about it since last season, even till today. It's the VA. Are a lot of controversy surrounding it. In fact, not just the game, but I think beyond that, how and in and in future will it really impact us mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. people, the people behind VAR especially. But let's not let's not waste no more time. Let's just face it. John, tell us what you feel about that match, Liverpool up against Spurs, and how did you feel of that offside DS goal? It is what it is, right? It is what it is. This has been the talk of the town for the last, the last week. No, all the papers, yeah. all the social media accounts, there's yep. been so little coverage on the Champions League matches that took place. Yep. Everybody is still talking about the goal. non-goal or the miscommunication or the yeah. utterly disgraceful team yeah. in the VAR um, yeah. or the video assistant referee or the basically the home match officials. I mean... It's clearly a mistake. Everybody okay. knows that we are human. <laughs> yes, humans make mistakes. Yeah, Everybody, yeah. nobody's perfect. Okay. Right? Yeah. What I cannot stand is the fact that you're trying your best to cover up. You okay. do not want to own up to your own mistake. Okay. Now, some people may say, hey, I did own up to my mistake. In fact, the PGMOL released okay. a statement, right? In the Almost immediately after the game, and this is what they said as you can see on the screen. So they acknowledged the error Mm -hmm. and it was, in their words, a significant human error. Okay. And that was what it was brought down to. A human error. Yes, but... But? what In in what universe Uh did they say that you cannot stop the game, correct your mistake, and, you know... Let the game go yeah. on as it should be. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it seems so. Now, reports are saying uh, that in the rule book of officiating, uh, in terms regarding with VAR or, or even continuing the game, when the 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 action or the the assessment of it has been sort of judged upon, you, you just can't reverse it. That's what you know. Reports are saying. So if you do it, then but but here I, I know you're gonna say something. But here comes the, some of the questions that I also have. Uh, now I'm neutral. Uh, I don't I don't support Liverpool. I don't support Spurs. But I think this goes it, it, beyond yes, that. Yes, yes. Yeah, nothing yeah, yeah, yeah. to do with no, no. whether you support yeah, yeah, Spurs correct, or correct. Liverpool. But I think this this goes beyond that because again, to me, I mean, as a Chelsea fan, we've faced many such things as well. I think many clubs have faced such thing. But this one, this one is such a glaring one. So because of that, now if they say assessment is 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 passed and therefore you can't reverse it then here comes the thing where how come there are things where they reversed it before exactly uh, they have halted games to to look at the camera uh they have sort of reverse penalty decisions before after a while so it, it comes to a point that as a neutral football fan you are wondering eh, i mean if past mistakes can be corrected 
How come this one didn't seem to be corrected at all? Precisely. I mean, if you, if you if you look back just a few minutes, I mean, just last season, right? Yeah. There was an incident where Brighton played Manchester United, United and, yeah. and after the full-time whistle was blown, after the full-time whistle was blown, Manchester United somehow still got a penalty. Yeah. Correct? So, yeah. You're, you're <laughs> enough yeah, said. Yeah, enough yeah. said. Yeah. And there were so many, you, you mentioned earlier, right? There were yeah, so yeah, many yeah. instances yeah, yeah, where yeah, even penalty are, calls are. and all. Yeah. You know the the reason they gave the 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 VR gave that he can't do anything he can't do anything. I mean, if you heard if you if you the really watch the audio right, yeah. listen, oh, listen or watch the yeah, video yeah, with the yeah. subtitles and all. Yeah. He said, "I can't do anything. I can't do anything." Yeah. No, you can. Yeah. You can do something. Yeah. Right? There have been penalty calls or con- uh, controver- controversial penalty calls that has been given where the the the, the on few referee decided there's not a penalty. Mm-mm. The VAR was checking, Mm-mm-mm. and then he said, "Hey." There is actually a, is I, I think you need to, to look at the screen one more time. And in this instance, the play has already been restarted. Yeah. So if you can stop those games and then go back to the penalty decision, why can't you do the same for this goal? Yeah. And in in and in all honesty, you know, I, I really I really want to show you guys the, the offside goal, but I think I think we don't really need to, to show yeah, it anymore it, because it, it is clear that it's yeah, offside. Evident. But yeah. the truth of the matter is, for some reason, the VAR, at least the people in, in Stockley Park, yeah, yeah. right? They thought that the on-field decision Mm-mm. was a goal, yeah, and that's why they did a very quick check, and they said, "Hey, check complete." Yeah, right. Yeah, and then after that, then they realized, "Oh fuck, mistake." The on-field decision was offside. It's not a goal. Yeah. So which makes me think: Were you con- concentrating on the game? What were you doing inside the VR? Were you drinking your water? Were you using your phone? Yeah. What exactly was going on? You and, know what I mean. And beyond that, what what how is exactly are they communicating? Because I, it seems like they're only using one singular channel device. And if you have, say, three different people, because you have the referee on field that's connected, you have the fourth official, I believe, that's also connected. Then you have the VAR people that's also connected. Uh, I think that's going to be a lot of mess. There's the on-view referee. There's the fourth yeah. official. Yeah. There's a VAR. There's yeah. the assistant VAR. Yeah. There's the, there is the technician there. There's five people yeah. over there yeah. who are watching the game with the technology. There are millions of us watching at home. Whether or not we support Liverpool and Spurs, is, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, redu- it's, 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 it's redundant. Yeah. Right? Five of you who will matter the most, for some reason, didn't get the, the, con- the communication right. Yeah. When you have all the tools, you have all the technology to use it, why aren't you using it properly? That's my question. It goes beyond who you support. This is not a matter of your, your club's allegiance anymore. Right, you mentioned about yes, uh, a lot of clubs have, um, you know, some decisions gone against you, some has go- has gone for you, and not. It does not matter. What matters most is that every single club, every single fan of those clubs has already said no. Oh, it is what it is. Mistakes are bound to happen. Let's move on. But the problem is, this is this mistake this weekend is too glaring. It's too glaring. This mistake, it's. It's almost as if they, they are trying their best to just say, hey, come at us, come at us. Okay, then we, we're going to throw a stone right at you. Now, you mentioned that uh, maybe other games may not be as glaring. Now, what happens? Okay, let's just say in a parallel universe, Liverpool won the game. It does not matter. But, but, I mean, you're saying that now because just because Liverpool just lost, right? Now, because, okay, I only say this because recently, now recently, uh, recently, I chanced upon a Liverpool fan, not John, just someone else. And I asked the same guy the same question. Now, what happens... Liverpool kind of won the game. Now, it will still be glaring, but the thing that this guy said was, well, we win the game, so should be okay lah. So, when I heard that, I said, okay. So, this is yeah. my problem yeah, with yeah. football fans. Yeah, exactly. That's this is my say. problem with football fans. Yeah. If it goes for you, it's good. If yeah. it doesn't go for you, you know, we are against yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. But this, this, is the, this is essentially the issue that's happening. Nobody is looking at a big picture. The big picture is about the technology and the usage of the technology, right? You are not using it correctly. How long has VR been in this football industry? Four years. And it's You're not been working. It's getting worse each and every year. You came out with different rules this season, right? You came yeah. out with four new different rules, right? The offside rule has been given. Yeah, yeah, gesturing yeah. has been... Yeah. But, but yet, there's so many inconsistencies. Inconsist- You're given four years every single season season after season match after yep. match game after game we have been talking about yep. it not just us the football fans the pundits themselves have been talking I believe the players have been talking about it. they just can't share on the social medias they can't publicly talk about it but are you sure the players are talking about I can guarantee you they are all talking about it 
Now, here comes the funny part too. Now, we, we talked about this, you know, the people trying to talk about it. But I think what really glares as well, I think the whole point is that now we talk about this this thing, you know, that, that caused such a, a news, lah, sensational news in a way. Now, the question, and before you carry on, we also want to know. Now, from your just point of view, without being any sort of a fan, do you think, now there are some camps that say yes, there are some camps that say no. Clearly, the manager also said yes. Do you think because of this, therefore, the game should be restarted? Replay, should the game be replayed? Replay? Yeah, replay. Okay, here's where I disagree with Jurgen Klopp. Okay. Right? Because I know, I, I've, I've watched the video, the, yeah, the, yeah, conference, yeah, the press yeah, conference yeah, that yeah. Klopp gave and then he said and that based on the football, as a football man, he thinks the game should be replayed because yeah. it's just to right the wrongs. Correct. Correct? Yeah. I think it shouldn't be replayed because if that's the case, okay. we should just replay all the games. That was always wrong. That was right. wrong. I'll just give you some examples. Yeah. You should, we should replay the, the World Cup qualifier between France and Ireland, right? Where Henri yeah. handball, handball yeah. right? We should replay yeah. that. Yeah. We should replay the World Cup final 2022 because yeah. apparently it's been rigged for Lionel Messi to win yeah. the World Cup, right? Yeah. For goodness sake, why don't we just restart football? Yeah, Every single restart the whole game. Why don't we do that? Yeah, I, I think if you want to go all the way, that why is, why as well just restart the whole? Let's go back in time, go back to the eighteen hundreds. Sorry, the nineteen hundreds, and then restart football all the way from there. Let's just do that. So your your stance now is that uh, we got to learn from this mistake that this VR mistake has been doing. They got to do something about it. And, and and very just not too long ago, we were also talking about, I think you were mentioning how uh, players' fines or, or uh, whatever they were fine with, it goes back to the league in a way to help enhance the Premier League. I yeah. remember we said that. Then here comes the question that we should ask them. Now, they say that these fines that they collect are supposed to enhance the league, but we're not really seeing that. I mean, what 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 do you think? This is we're not saying that. But these are two yeah. separate matters, isn't it, Ben? Yeah. No, no. It, it seems separate, but to me, it's about enhancing the league. The VAR is a tool that's supposed to enhance the league. They must have spent money. Think about it. They must have spent money to sort of make the VAR as 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 good as it is. They ha- they have to pay money for the officials to to be there because they have to be paid. But if they're being nothing about it, uh, they are being paid, and they don't seem to do the job well. So I feel it is a correlation. You are being paid, no? You are being paid a job to sit in a room with monitors. Do you think they should be brushing up uh, the way they assess it? Because not too long ago also, you did say that they should get technicians instead of referees who would draw the line and whatnot. These are things that, that errors are made because of that, because the referees don't know how to communicate it. But what if you put actual professionals who sit in the room and they kind of know how to communicate properly? Because remember, these are referees who probably didn't get used to putting the headset because the main error of communication came from the headset when the three of them started, you know, talking among each other. Uh, one didn't get, he said, check complete, but by check complete, he didn't understand what check complete so, so was. So if, that, if that's the case, yeah. if, that's, if that's what you're mentioning, yeah. I, I think the money has already been yeah. put in, into the purchasing of all the technology, all yeah, the, yeah. All and the, the equipment, people, right? And the people, correct? Yeah. So the issue that you're mentioning, yeah. is the, it's a matter of training, isn't it? Yeah, correct. So so that isn't that it says that, doesn't that say that, hey, if you we pay you this much of money according to you to be trained, then why are you not up to standard? Think about it. They, they're being paid, and and it's not about training now. Correct. You, so you're it's, being it's, paid. A, it's a process yeah. issue. Yeah, it's yeah. An so issue with the process. Yeah. So correct. So going, the rules that are going the, the, back the rules to it. That's placed, therefore, in place they, is wrong. they have to learn. Uh. I mean, they have to learn what they have to rectify yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So that means I'm trying to say the money is not well spent. They, the, they wrote the rule, and the rules are not being even officially lined up. We pay them a sum of money. Sorry, at the end of the day, it boils down to money. The fans there who watch the game, the fans there who watch outside of the game, who pay subscription, they know there's supposed to be a standard. Now, if you're watching other leagues that, I wouldn't name which leagues, that are supposedly not of the high standard, you even if they make a boo-boo, for example, I believe there was an Egyptian league and, and the referee used the handphone. We were talking about that. No one made a big hoo-ha, whether, oh, but we, we laughed at it. Now, in this case, we, we expect a higher standard. The referees are not doing a higher standard. So it comes down to they're being paid. A sum of, it's not volunteer. You know? They're being paid to sit in the room to, to judge what happens, but they can't get... So you can learn everything. You can, be, you can be schooled in the best institution, but if you can't even know how to communicate a job, then what's the money paid for? That's just my point. Yes. So then what do you suggest? Yeah. I suggest well, then they have to rewrite everything. Come up with a thing a guideline that everyone can see proper. Guidelines are too complicated and too complex these days. As a person who look at all these things, they have too many annexes and A and a B and the C and the D. Write something I think, that, that I everyone think can, I, can, I, can okay. understand. I, I think the, the solution is very simple. Right? Say it as it is. I'm checking for offside. 
then and then the VR just said check complete this is a legit goal give the goal full stop Correct. And that's where the training has Not to come in. Not check complete. Yeah. So again, coming back to, they then have to train it properly where they shouldn't say check complete. They should say something more extended, something more concrete. Now, so okay, so there's one thing that they should do, right? Yeah. If you talk, to talk about other solutions that we can probably give them. Besides this, what other things that can be done to do this? I remember watching a video that, yeah. that Stephen Warnock mentioned yeah. about, um, yes, the thing that the error has already been committed, yep. the play has already been restarted, yep. but you have, and you realize at half time that the mistake was already made because the statement was made by the PGA MML yeah. was done during half time, yeah. correct? I believe it's half time, right? You have more than sufficient time in the second half to so-called right the wrong. Okay. So what Steve Stephen Warnock suggested yeah. was speak to the managers, speak with both captains. Look, guys, I made a mistake. We are fucked up, right? But we have to right the wrong. Yeah. Right. Because in in like in the words of Liverpool, in the words of PGA MLL, it's about the integrity. It's about the sporting integrity on the game. Yeah. Sportsmanship. Right? Yeah. Right. Let Liverpool score one goal okay. because it's. It's the legit goal, mm -mm. right? So I I like that suggestion, mm -mm. but whether or not it's going to be taken into consideration, yeah, I have no idea. But I think yeah. it's a good suggestion, mm -mm -mm. and it's something that needs to be seriously considered for something when when something like this happen again, mm -mm. right? And it's not just about the 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 what you can be doing be done in a VAR, because I think that the the referees or rather the PGMML are implementing too many things for the referees to to understand. I think there are too many changes, right? I mean, just 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 to move away from the VAR just for a book move, just for a quick moment, right? I want to talk about one of the new rules that's been implemented this season. Okay, one of the new rules implemented is that any player that gestures or suggests for, card, yeah. for the referee to show an opponent a yellow card, yeah, they should be yellow carded. Mm -mm. And this was what was done in the first game of the season when Nicholas Jackson and Ale uh, Alexis McAllister was rightly yellow carded because of the implementation of the new rules. Yep. Right? But in this game, they were just using this game, the Spurs versus Liverpool game, there were two incidences. All right, we're going to show them on the screen. There were two incidences that shown two Spurs players doing the exact same thing. So Destiny Udongi was gesticulating and Richarlison as well was gesticulating to the referee. All right, so if you can look on the screen right now, I think the first player we see, yes, this is Udongi, gesticulating. Hey, yeah. where's the yellow card? Not just that. Then look, then now we look at Richarlison. Richarlison was also gesticulating, not just, you know, telling referee, he was right in the referee's face over there. Here you go. None of them were given a yellow card. Right? So now my question to, to Simon Hooper, what were you thinking? Yeah. Do you even know the rules? Yeah. Do you even know the rules that has been put in place for this new season? That's my question to him right now. And and I don't know. It's 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 just just baffling to me that year after year, match after match, game after game, we've been talking about all the same things. Mm -mm. Nothing is being done. Mm -hmm. And right now, Liverpool is trying to make a stand for yeah. all these things. Yeah. But all the fans around the world. I wouldn't say okay, not all, not all. most, yeah. right? Are laughing at Liverpool. I mean, this again, it goes beyond your club's allegiance. This is about the betterment of our game that we love so much. No, before we are everybody fine, it's, it's cool. Mm -mm. Right? Because that's that's part of the part and parcel of the beauty of the game. But and that's the exact reason why VR was brought in to correct all these mistakes, to make sure that a, a legit goal is given as a legit goal. Or a, a penalty should be given as a penalty. So, yeah. why are we not doing it? I so, think it's time. It's, it's really enough is enough. So, very quickly about enough is enough, you know, because uh, there were reports saying that the VAR team, they, they headed to UAE. Do you think, mm, in a very short way, uh, do you think that that kind of impacted them, you know, in terms of their, I believe their so. mentality? I believe so. Okay. The, if I'm not wrong, a, a return is, I think... It's a very long flight. It's I a long it's flight. A, yeah. It's a long haul it's, flight. Yeah. It's a long haul yeah, flight. Yeah. Correct. Okay. From the UAE. And they were officiating the game in the UAE just 48 hours before the game on Saturday. The jet lag? It's going to be the... Yeah, exactly. Jet lag. Concentration, I mean, the focus. Exactly, precisely. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, yeah. 
I don't know. Oh, it's just it's just so baffling to me. I mean, I, I'm trying my very my, my very best to just remain calm and all, because, uh, I mean, I I've had a few days to cool down from all these things, but, I mean, clearly this this yeah, this, yeah, clearly. this discussion was going to go on and on and on and on and on. But moving on, all right. Let's move away from from all these things. Yeah. Um, I I I I want to truly understand. Yeah. One thing. And I'm I'm asking this question because of something that Mark Halsey said. Okay, and what uh, is it? Mark Halsey has a he 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 mentioned he he wrote this statement I think a, a few years back and mm-hmm, all, mm-hmm. Uh, where the the referees are actually told to make certain calls, right? To give a certain number of cuts, give a certain number of free kicks, give a certain number of goals, give a certain number of corners. I want to challenge the Premier League right now. On his statement, yeah, is it true? Okay, is this true? Because if it is true, wow! What a statement! I, if it's true, I just I probably would just stop watching football, man. Mm. Really, because it really takes out every, it takes everything out of the game Mm-mm. to the point where why am I just supporting corruption? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I don't know. It just pains me to to, to hear this. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, for those of you watching, and and if you read the statement, don't don't worry. You know, even it's shown for a bit, uh, like two seconds, three seconds, you can always rewind back, uh, pause right there, press the space button, pause, and read the thing. And, you know, let us know if you do agree with that. If you don't agree, let us know as well about the Mark uh, Hayes Helsey's uh, statement. Okay. And we got more controversies actually beyond the VAR. You know, we we really do have a lot, but we'll, we'll tell you more lah. We'll tell you more later. We will plenty yeah. of chances yeah, you know, yeah, over yeah, the next yeah. few episodes, over the next few weeks to talk yeah. about them anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh so yeah, that that, that ends the the, the, the segment of the 19. 90 minutes of controversies. Okay, so we, we we'll see you for our next one. <laughs> oh dear Lord. Okay, we'll see you for our next one again. If you have anything to share about this uh, VR controversy, uh we'll see you for our next one because you know our next one is called Goodbye. <laughs> What's what with <laughs> Why who's what's who? With who, who? Ah, dear Lord. I thought it was bye-bye. See lah. Check clear lah. Okay, anyway. Hello? No, no, what? What's what with who's who? Oh, yeah. Hey, now it's what what with who who. I just got it from the communication here. From a oh, producer. From our producer. <laughs> the All one right. and only, the Chris Hansen. Okay, so in any case, <laughs> welcome back. This is the what's what with who who. And uh, away from the controversy. I mean, this one is also a little bit of a controversy. But yeah, and the- ends off with a lighter note. Yeah, that's lighter right. Note. Yeah, lighter note. Ah, and what so, are exactly we're we talking about? So let's move away from all the negativity <laughs> from the VAR and let's talk a little bit about some positivity from a scandal. But he starts to let the V also. Uh, so what was it? The V got to do with? I mean, no, VAR V. Okay, anyway. Oh, well, I mean, okay, so the last, I think the last episode, the previous episode, we did talk about yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, Victor Osimhan, exactly. uh, Osimhan's, uh, um TikTok, na- yeah. Nepali TikTok scandal bullying and all that stuff. Way, yeah, the bullying yeah. and whatnot. Yep, yep. Um, but Victor himself has uh, released a statement Mm-mm. about the Napoli TikTok scandal. Yep. And we're just going to show you on screen right now. Now, if you read between the lines and all, Mm-mm. I think what we see is a true professional. professional. And I think every single footballer on the planet right now should take a leaf out of Victor's behavior. Really. I you mean, should. Okay, so so if you want to read, just press space bar to, to read for some of you. I mean, you can pause. You yeah. can read it, right? <laughs> uh, this is from a legit source yep. from from Romano, yeah. from President Romano himself. Love that guy. Yeah. So so, what's your take on this? I mean, his, his I, behavior. I, or rather, I, his I think this behavior is quite as as we've mentioned earlier. is, is a professional behavior. Uh, how he behaves on pitch, how he behaves off the pitch. I think is a true professional, in my opinion. And given that he's a young boy as well, to to. Be such a, a a mature, you know, instead of just be a crybaby. I think well done on this uh, Victor. So really true professional. I think the way he addresses it as well. Uh, he's not bitching about it. He's actually just addressing it as a very, you know, as a, as a man. I would say uh, tackling the core of racism in a very. Uh, he doesn't want to. Uh, ignite fire in people. I think it's more like he just wants to calm people down and know he has it in control. In a way, like that, that, that felt like it. Yeah. That's like the polar opposite of yeah. the people at the PGMOL, yeah. isn't it? Uh, 
completely unprofessional completely. trying to hide trying to you hide the to statements there. and all of course yeah, i have to go there yeah, i have yeah. to go you there have to go there <laughs> I mean, we think about it, right? Yeah. I I think I was watching a podcast on yeah. Ben Foster's yeah, yeah, uh, podcast, yeah. you know, the second yeah. GK. Uh, he didn't mention that during the halftime talk. That okay. usually in between matches, yeah. the halftime analysis yeah, yeah. and all. We'll, we'll they the, the, the they didn't mention anything about no shit, the, really. the, the the offside call. Oh, they only did it. I think ten seconds before, be- just before the, the, the match the was match. supposed to restart. Oh. And Ben Foster suggested that they have probably got a phone call and cannot. an instruction to mention that do not talk about it. Why? Why? Why should you not talk about it? Why? 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 Why should you not talk about it? Right. Own up to your mistakes. Own up. Yeah. Own up to your mistakes. Okay. So for the na- and rectify them and rectify them. Therefore, all these Napoli people, I tell you, you booty Victor. That is how Victor rectified. Sorry, I know okay? I'm bringing it back. It's okay. I brought it back. Okay. So as I winged it back, I mean, again, you know, as we discussed Victor's uh, statement addressing the whole scandal, I think mature and like what John said, it was handled more efficiently and in a much more mature manner. You know, it, it really does not show. Uh, uh, a very unclassy side. It, it really showed a very class side of Victor. And if I was Napoli, I, I would really offer some form of apology, not just statement. You know, give the guy something lah, nice car. I don't know lah, whatever they, I don't know. Just give him something, Rolex or, or something. Well, yeah. I think they'd be too proud to do that. Yeah, anyway, that's true. But anyway, yep. So that ends the episode. Uh, today's episode of uh, what's it, what's it called again? Hello, what today? <laughs> the uh, the the ninety minutes of controversy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> In any case, uh, you know what, people? Uh, this really, you know, it, it, it's 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 an entire episode of controversy, an entire episode of controversy. Okay, so we we we've, we've mentioned about the the whole VAR thing, and uh, very not too long ago, about uh, two minutes ago, we were talking about Victor, uh, Victor Osahem you know, from Napoli, and how he dealt with the situation. And uh, I, I think you know, if we can just end on on, on of a end off on a very light note, it really shows that you know how off-field actions can affect a player image and career and in this case I think Victor done it very well the referees on the other hand they're just finding excuses so you know you know what to do just face it like a man okay well well done Ben <laughs> what a summary <laughs> well okay. in any case that was the what's what with who's who segment That's and right. also the episode for this week we will see you guys next week hopefully without any controversy hopefully la. hopefully otherwise Real hot chili, chili Liverpool or at least you know some kind of Yellow. Rectification from Yeah yeah. Oh well. Anyway, see ya.